Hello, welcome to February. Welcome to the Tollfield Alliance Church update for the weekend of February 6th. It's coming. We're getting closer to spring. We're getting closer to the end of the pandemic. Health authorities and politicians are cautiously pointing to the end of February as a time when we may be able to lift restrictions. Now they can't predict the future and their predictions come with lots of qualifications, but boy, we sure hope they are right. But our hope is not in a specific outcome in matters of the pandemic or in matters of politics. Our hope is in the Lord. And we can be assured that he is at the helm of the times and the seasons. And he is with us through all of our experiences, be that a lingering pandemic, a difficult January, or times that are easier. I pray that whatever your circumstances, you would know the abiding presence of Jesus and the assurance of his care. Scripture says in Psalm 145, 18, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. I want to give you a brief update on programs. Certainly, we're eagerly anticipating the time when restrictions are lifted and we can resume many more programs. But in the meantime, some of the events that are in the calendar this past month are the Esther Bible Study for girls grade 9 through 12, led by Pam and Morgan Sly. It's going to resume Sunday, February 13th, and we haven't got the exact time yet, but we'll update with you with that as soon as possible. And Sunday School, our plan is to resume on February 20th, so parents, if you haven't done so already, please register. In the email, there's links to a way you can register online, and as well, there are forms available at church or that you can, uh, that have been emailed to you, and you can get those back to us either in email form or in paper form. Our annual meeting is taking place on February 28th. That's a Monday night, 7 p.m. And in preparation for that, the nominating committee report has been, will be posted this coming weekend and also will be emailed to church members. And the annual report will be distributed by the weekend of February 20th. So plan to attend the annual meeting and join the discussion about the opportunities that we may be able to pursue, particularly once the restrictions are lifted. I want to talk about our series and the message this Sunday. The series is Living Our Belief. The message this Sunday is Much Ado About a Hairdo. This Sunday we begin a section of 1 Corinthians. It goes from chapters 11 to 14. that talks about how churches are to function as they gather together. Paul teaches that we're called to be together in honor, in communion, in diversity, in love, and in encouragement. The segment for this Sunday, 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 16, is a curious one. Like the earlier issue of food sacrifice to idols, we don't have personal understanding for the particulars or the emotions that surrounded the topic. Both issues polarized the church to the degree that Paul was compelled to provide clarification and direction. And in both cases, he helps them to see beyond the particulars and emotion of the circumstance and to apply a wider lens of biblical truth and Christ-centered values to their situation. To understand this passage, we must be careful not to rush into polarized debates about church policy and practice. We first need to understand the central truth that Paul is explaining and how that truth relates to this entire section. Paul's primary concern is that the church operate in harmony. He reminds them that the ancient and the, mo he reminds the, ancient and the modern church that we need one another. In the text in verses, chapter 11, verses 11 and 12, he says, Nevertheless, in the Lord... Woman is not independent of man, nor is man independent of woman. For as, man came, as woman came from man, so also man is born of woman, but everything comes from God. So I encourage you to read 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 16. Read that in advance. Jot down your questions. I'm sure you have some, and I'm curious to know how many of your questions I'll address as we study this text on Sunday. Thanks so much for joining me in this update. Thank you for joining on Sundays at 10 a.m. in person or via live stream or joining at another time on the YouTube channel at your convenience. Take care. Good to see you. God bless.